Butorphanol is a medication that you will probably only see if you're working in like uh, labor and delivery or OR. Because what butorphanol is mostly used for, it's, it's trade name is Stadol. Okay, Stadol. And what it does is it's a lot of times used for moderate to severe pain, labor pain, and sedation before surgery. So most likely if you use this medication, it will be labor pains uh, for, for a patient who's having labor or for sedation prior to surgery, okay? Uh, working in the ICU, I have not actually given Stadol. And, you know, we have a lot of patients who have very severe pain or who we do minor procedures on or who we intubate and things like that. And even in those situations, I've never given it. So my guess is is a, the most likely places you're going to give this will be in labor and delivery or sedation prior to surgery. So Stadol, generic name Butofrenol, its action is that it alters perception and response to pain by binding to opiate receptors in the CNS and thereby altering that, that perception of pain, how we feel the pain, okay, by binding to those opiate receptors. Therapeutic class is opioid analgesic. And by knowing this, you guys, so you know some of the nursing considerations that we're going to have. Before we talk about that, it's pharmacologic class is opioid agonist antagonist. And so it can have a withdrawal effect uh, and, and dependency effect with it. So some of the nursing considerations we need to keep in mind, knowing that it's an opioid analgesic and that it binds to these opiate receptors in the CNS, we know that we need to monitor for CNS depression, right? It's going to depress the CNS, which means that we need to monitor respirations, we need to monitor blood pressure, heart rate, all those things that are going to be altered by any of these CNS depressant medications. One big thing to keep in mind, too, is that you want to use caution with concurrent use of MAOIs. We don't want patients who are taking MAOIs to necessarily be taking state all. So that's something that you're going to want to watch for and that you're going to want to monitor these patients with. It can cause confusion, hallucinations, and obviously sedation. So again, just be very careful with these patients as you're giving them this medication uh, that you're monitoring them closely. So again, assess blood pressure, respirations during administration, and administer very slowly through an IV line, okay? So those are the big things to keep in mind for butrophenol or Stadol. It is an opioid analgesic, uh, and so you just kind of keep in mind those CNS depression uh, side, of, or side effects, and you don't want to give it concurrently with an MAOI. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast, brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to MedMasterCourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. The MedMaster course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to MedMasterCourse.com, coupon code PODCAST. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.